going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, joined by Kala Sowland. Kala, you haven't actually been on the channel for a week, which must be a record over the past com- couple of months. Uh, it's eight, eight, eight days, I think eight days. So, uh, yeah, I've had withdrawal symptoms of IFL. I think the viewers have as well, I'm Kala. Happy to have you, Joe, Joe. I'm happy to have you. Stitty Coogan and Umar lurking, but they clearly haven't had the the front to stand up to me after what you know the events in Newcastle no joking no scandal there no scandal there well there's about three fun that was in the first 38 seconds there right I'll give you another 30 in the next five <laughs> let's get to the presser then KSI versus Dylan Dennis Dylan Dennis was a no-show today and uh, just is there any worry about Dylan and is he going to be ready for fight night Look, there's always a worry that an opponent pulls out of a fight and whatever. I, I don't make much of today. Um, I think that he's got his little mind games on the one hand. I guess his coaches have told him he's nuts going to a press conference for an event in just under a month. And you're going to fly to London in the middle of winter when, you know, I mean, I had COVID last week. I'm negative now. Um and you've got, you know, I guess the Kitsa team have looked at that. It would have been nice if they would have maybe re- communicated that slightly differently than uh, this morning. Um, would have saved me a nice first-class ticket from uh, New York to here. But, hey, I'm sure I'll get some nice miles off that somewhere. But, ultimately, he didn't turn up, did he? Uh, mind games, wants to train hard or whatever, however you want to look at it. Um, but he's... He's a character, old Dylan, isn't he? You know. There's one thing that he always seems to bring, certainly at these Misfits events, is fireworks, whether that's a street fights, whether that's being broken up by the police. Car, car park fights, you know, armed police in the ring in Texas. Uh, we've only been going five months. Do you think it would have brought that extra little bit of spice here in London today with KSI, so get them face-to-face and just that little push for fight night? Well, I did work out especially hard this week to... Uh, do the face off um it was tasty in texas so on the one hand i'm very happy it didn't happen today um we we had a a big security detail here to to assist but um on the other hand we've got it all to look forward to in fight week you know i think in terms of face-offs we've had the you know we've had the the coffee throwing incident still got a semi-dry cleaning bill somewhere um, then we had the next day, the, obviously in the ring, the, the formal face-off announcement. So we've had that part. Today was more about getting the, the, the sound bites with the two of them together and stuff like that. But, you know, it is what it is. We, it's not the first time and it won't be the last time. And this is the second, actually, design pay-per-view show you're doing. Obviously, the first one in August launched with KSI's two fights in one night. But the depth of this card for a Misfits... But X series is very, very deep. You've got some great fights. Slim, uh, Tom Zanetti. You've got Ryan Taylor making his return against Swarms. You've got Adaway versus L Brook. It's a very good card, isn't it, Colour? Yes, yeah, I mean, it's seven fights. Um, and they're all sort of, almost sort of like, in this world, it's sort of seven little main events to, the, to themselves. Uh, they're all characters. They've all got big followings. All very diverse. Um, you know, we like diversity. Uh, at Misfits and we're called Misfits aren't we everything fits somehow you know the main thing is that they take the sport seriously and uh, you know you see now also it's settling down in terms of the names so you'll see more and more names repeat itself I think Slim's been on what is it the third time now or something you know so it's you're seeing the the, the, the names come back and back and back and the ones who ain't no good they, they're not coming back because uh, they realise it is the pain game 100% and just a word on Elbrook 
because obviously she's had a bit of prior beef to Astrid Wet. I'm not sure if you've seen this. These, these were meant to fight in July. That didn't happen, but is that one for next year that you'd like to make? Absolutely. You know, it's, look, that is, uh, that's, a, that's a crown they've got to fight out for between them, and that's something that we want to get made for next year. Um, you know, looking very forward to see Elle in a ring. In the ring. Interesting, in the ring. And um, Astrid, you know, she, she, she put on the fireworks in Sheffield. So, you know, setting up for a real cracker for 2023 there. But, uh, you know, Faith Aldway, going to be interesting for Elbrook on January 14. Obviously, this will be the fourth show. But how many can we expect throughout 2023? Um, oh, at least six, seven next year you know that's uh, certainly um, I'd like to try out some other countries as well we'll be mainly doing it in the UK and the US of course but you know one or two countries on our horizon you know, Spain Germany um, maybe take it to Asia last one on Misfits then a yeah, few names were mentioned in the, that press conference Andrew Tate Matt Hancock but Wayne Rooney you said that uh, he can box a bit Tyson Fury yeah, said he wants to spar him could that be a potential Wayne is Wayne is someone um, who can who's I can't remember I think it's his, his cousin is a really good boxer and, um, I met Wayne privately years ago um, in, I remember in France and uh and uh, we, we had a great night having a few drinks, talking boxing, and he, he knows his stuff. And then he was close with the Smiths, obviously, when I was working with the Smiths on uh, either Callum or Paul. Um, you know, he, he knows his game, you know. So, yeah, I, I mean, Wayne Rooney, wow, that would be fantastic. That transitions very nicely, talking to the Smiths. Obviously, you've got Liam Smith versus Chris Eubank Jr., early parts of next year. Just... Obviously, we're seeing it online, the eight rounds, Chris Eubank saying that you don't need to prepare for any more. Is that just media bravado once again from Chris? No, I, I spoke to him this morning. He's, he's, he's looking more at 40s, actually. He's, he's recalculated. He thinks he's more like 48.5% required. So um, he's decided that KFC is going to bring in the Christmas dinner. Um, and he's looking very forward to that. So he's having a big feast up in Brighton. He told me that on the 24th, they're going for zingers. On the 25th, they're going for a, um, a full-on a KFC special turkey. And then on the 26th, it's sort of the, the drumstick day, you know, for Boxing Day. Um, he's estimated to go through around 14,500 calories per day in that three-day festive period, all courtesy of KFC, of course. And... Um, Hey, it's just a guy in a KFC truck trying to make a living. In all seriousness, though, Kala, oh, how, serious. <laughs> how highly do you rate then, Liam? I, I think Liam was a great fighter. Was? No. Did I say was? Yeah, I think you did, yeah. <laughs> That's what you call a Freudian slip. No, no, no. No, I'm sure Liam's got the fire. No, I'm, I'm, I'm having to wind up here, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry, Liam. Um, I've known them long enough to be, to be allowed to do that, I hope. Well, he might chin me next time he sees me. Um, Listen, they're a fighting family. Uh, four brothers, all great fighters. You know, they're going to come for war on 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 uh, January 21. Let's let's and listen. Junior's the showman. He knows what he's doing. He's, Roy's already over here uh, since days now. The camp is fully underway. When I say camp, and I keep saying this, but it's not a joke is junior lives in camp he, he he is constantly you know not within touching distance of weight he's just a phenomenal pro and um that's something that you know people got to give him more credit for got to give him more credit for Conor ben finally cut, brought out a statement on monday night did you read it and what did you make of those comments yeah i mean i read it i read something that was clearly, you know, legally uh, muzzled. Um, one word in it that was interesting was, was the word con was the word contamination, yeah. which gives you an indication of the road road they're going up. Um, the rest was more of a Christmas card, wasn't it? Do you think 
the fans and the media, yourself, should be expecting more from Connor? Do you think we should be expecting no, him to say some more? I don't. I, I, don't I, I was someone asked me earlier today. Um, uh, you know, sympathy. Do you have sympathy for? I, I don't have sympathy because I don't know the case. I don't know. I, I don't. You know. So no. Um, I think that boxing has to look itself very hard in the face and. It's not the promoters, but we should be putting more pressure on for this change because we ultimately pay the sanctioning bodies. But the way the, the whole thing was handled, the speed, the timing, why wasn't there a hearing within hours of this? You know, it was such a big event. It is such a big, iconic, net, you know, hashtag you bank Ben. Yeah? Um, it's massive. So in any other sport saying that big would have been like oh well you know speak to the lawyers and you know and like do the fans really get that like why why wasn't everyone called in and said like this is what the situation is this is how it can work this is you know might be might have been able to save the show at the time um with with, with another fight you know with you banks you know, felix cash was on the card just for example yeah. uh, but you know that that wasn't afforded to us through the system. There's no, absolutely nothing, nothing that could be done about that part. And that's something where we have to look at in the future of, of making it more transparent, making it faster, you know, making it, okay, those are results, right? Let's deal with this, yeah? I mean, you know, that, that's the part that, that don't sit right with me. Has there been any serious talks about that fight taking place next year? Actually, I'll actually I talk about something that can't currently take place. You know, so yeah. I've got enough things uh, to do, and I'm sure they do as well. Um, and right now, I'm not looking past Liam Smith. It's that's a live fight. It's a tough, tough fight. We know that. You know. Last one then. It has been a big 2022 for yourself, Nissa, the Wasserman conglomerate now with uh, Misfits just finishing it off with the Channel 5 show Williams and Kelly a, a fantastic bout what can we expect going in to 2023 what more of that because you must forget the first few Channel 5 shows where we're getting warmed up we're bringing back you know Josh into it uh, Nathan Gorman into it as well he had a disappointing end of the year but we've also had, you know, stories like Harlem Eubank coming through, yeah? main eventing 1.88 million viewers. Um, then, you know, Josh Kelly, what a fantastic, superb performance. Um, you know, great crowd in Newcastle. Finished on a real nice high um, at the end of the year. Yeah, I can't wait for the comments on that. Um, and more of that for 2023, you know, I mean, I don't know too many promoters who are kicking off 2023 with two pay-per-view events in January. Can you name me another one? I can't. No, I can't. There, one. there we go. Kala, thank you very much for being to IFL TV. If this is the last time you're on the channel before the end of the year, no, Happy Christmas. So. I've got that funny feeling. I've got that funny feeling it won't be the last time. <laughs> I'll be coming with, a, with that Christmas turkey. There you go. <laughs> Brought to you by KFC. <laughs> KFC and... Cheers. Thank you very much, Keller, and I'll speak to you again soon. Cheers, mate. Cheers. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session.